the newlyweds had their first major test of marriage when the husband lost his wedding band. And the chances of finding it, not good. Here is Denver 7's Thomas Hoppo with the story that has a happy ending. There's something magical about a place away from the city. Vail is a really special place. Maybe it's the trees. It is. And a lot of people come here from all over the world to see where we live. The people. Vail is now my home. I ended up meeting Jamie and uh, the rest is history. Or maybe it's something in the water. And that's where we're making a life for ourselves, for sure. Like love for Jamie and Courtney, newlyweds. This year, we were paddle boarding. But like all marriages, theirs was tested. At this lake. Jumped in to cool off. Jamie did something that would make any wife's heart drop. He came up without his wedding ring. Wasn't able to, you know, catch it when it was falling in the water. So Jamie did what any husband would do. Rather random that there's a diving shot, you know, a thousand miles from the ocean, but yeah. um, he searched. And I went down with my scuba gear on. And they searched as a team. So what happened was I had my face in the water. I was lying on my paddleboard. Hoping. And I was worried it was going to be buried in the silt, but thought, you know, if it's there, I'll at least have a chance. But after 20 minutes. And then I just went down and started <laughs> doing laps in my scuba gear. I hear this. I hear the bubbles come up. Jamie's coming to the surface. And got very, very lucky. Pretty and so, ingenious. And, and my, we've only been married for five weeks. Five weeks. Oh, that's a great story. Love was in the water for these two. That means I'm not sleeping on the sofa this week, which is great. And maybe, <laughs> just <think> maybe, <laughs> a little bit of luck. And Vale, Thomas Hoppo, Denver 7. Oh my God.